Hi, I'm Kayleen and this is my husband Mark and our rescue greyhound girl Missy. Last year Mark decked out our Ford Ranger with roof racks, solar panels, fridge freezer, pantry, drawers and even a shower. So now we can travel totally off grid. Join us each week as we explore Australia. Mark shares his knowledge of tips and tricks and how to have fun travelling with a greyhound. Subscribe to our channel and join the adventures. Now this has got some history. I found Mark. That is just amazing. So, so the long beam is cantilevered from up there. It comes all the way across here. With winches and pulleys, they lift that end up there, which lifts these two large stampers. Stampers, yeah. They put all the grapes in the barrels here and by lifting that up it literally crushes all the grapes flows through the gaps in the boards and they're probably called staves i would say and drains down into this section here to get the grape juice there's no way having to walk on the grapes anymore so when did they stop using this or do they still use it so it says on there 1962, 1962, but apparently they still use it every now and then to make a special vintage. There you go. The wow. The lever alone is three and a half ton. So just three and a half here, ton. Just this section here of the lever that you're standing under is three and a half ton. And the cage capacity is two and a half to three ton. I've never seen anything like this. No, I thought I'm going to This is, uh, this is better. Wow. And you can even see more barrels out over through that door over there. Yeah. So they crush the grapes. They put the stalks in the bottom, act as a filter, and the pre-crushed grape skins and juice was shoveled into the baskets with the red gum lids you can see in the bottom, yeah. sitting on top. And the plungers are pressed down on each of them. Each basket had a capacity of around three, three tons. tons. So it puts three tons of material into each basket. That's a lot. Able to keep it in the pen very well. Oh. Well, the old Dutch. No? Help me, help me. <laughs> oh, oh, cheers. <laughs> uh, uh, that's it? Bloody good for <laughs> Bloody good for mate. <laughs> yeah, shut up, I'm drinking. <laughs> it was very warming though. It's very warming, I love that. Mm. It's lovely.
So now here's an interesting one for you. We are somewhere in the middle of nowhere, near Salt Creek, which is between south of Goolwar on the coast of, Adel of South Australia and in between that and Kingston. And we're traveling with our friends. We're in a little convoy and I'll come up here so you can see the vehicles. And they said they want to stop because <laughs> they are in the bushes here with containers picking amazing mulberries. But have a look around me. There is nothing. <laughs> you would think we are crazy. And over here is the beach and the, and the wind. And it's really windy because apparently there's a marine wind warning. We must have brought that. So we've gone to a little bit cooler weather. And we'll come down here. Missy's still in the car. But you can come and you can meet the puppies. They're here. Oh, this is Tingy. And Nala's in here somewhere. And I think Mark is in here too. Hello. Murdering people. Oh, excellent. You don't look like you've got many in you in your container. But apparently, is this right, Krista, that you picked from here when you were a child? Absolutely. This is locals only secret. Locals only. So we're not really going to tell you where it is, just saying. So... Oh, there's Nulla. She's going around there. It's like Tim's got a lot here in his box. Right. Oh my gosh! Look at this. Look at it go. <laughs> now, we're going to teach you something that I had no idea and I picked mulberries as a kid. Okay, so testing. We have lots of mulberry juice and it stains. It's like, ooh, ooh, look. Yes. Okay. Now, Tim, what do you do? Some of these nice bright unripe ones. Right. Then you squash them up in your hand. And you rub them together. And it washes it all off with a little bit of water. With a bit of water, and then you wash your hands. And apparently that works on clothes as well. Yeah. You've seen this here. <laughs> um, to me you look like you're spreading it. <laughs> Get some water for you. <laughs> Here, come to my side and I'll squirt you. Oh, you got, you got yeah. your squirt here. <laughs> right, so we're going to get some water here. And we've got Tim's hands that are currently pink. Pink. With a little bit of water. And we're all cleaning it. Amaze balls. Look, he's such a clean kid. He can play now in the dirt. <laughs> 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 Woohoo! Does work. We don't know where the other two kids, the little Dutch kids. Where's the little Dutch boy, the little Dutch girl? Where are they? They could be right around the other side of the tree. Oh. It's a big ass it's a tree. tree. And Nulla's over there. Oh, it's a bit windy. I hear them, but this thing is huge. Puppies are like, what's up? Because Missy's still in the car. She's like, why do those kids get to get out? Hey, Nella. Hey, Timmy. We've come inside the mulberry tree. Oh, I found another one. This is a species of male. <laughs> Let's go find Daddy. Are you whoop? Come in here. It's my daddy. Here he is. Come on. In here. Is the data? Oh, we're going under here. Ow, ow, ow. I went under a tree to follow my husband. Come on. That one. Come on. It just does that to you. Yeah. But don't worry. We've learned how to touch this. mulberry collection, fresh from the bush, and they taste nothing at all like what you get in the shops. These are amaze balls. What do the mouth say? Oh, you're a little bit gooey from them though. Yeah, but you're going to clean them too. Give me one.
Oh my gosh, they're amazing. They are. Yes. Rub it on your hands oh, and the juice all it. comes oh. off. Yeah. And rub it on your clothes. If you get a bit on your clothes, we'll rub it on the clothes and then we'll stick it in the wash and it will all come off. That's incredible. Yeah. So how long have you been coming here? I've been coming here since, oh, I was about five years old. Really? My mum's been coming here since she was a child. Wow. Everyone comes here. How and did they find it? Just So the original homestead. So my oh. great grandfather um, and before him, they would have come down here when the homestead was actually a homestead. Wow. And actually like, you know, come down here and visit. And then they planted these, obviously originally because they couldn't go to the shop, so they had to plant their own garden. Oh. And then obviously the homestead's now gone, um, but the trees remain, which is really lovely for us. And it's huge. And so it's made up of multiple trees or one big tree? One big tree that is just kind of branched oh. out, which is huge. It is. Oh, 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 what's, oh, oh. oh someone's climbed the tree. Oh. I thought you were on the back of Zooty. Look at you. <laughs> Look at him, he's a green monkey. Oh my goodness. Have you kids see? in the freezer. Right. Well, no, we can wash. You'll come over and I'll wash your hands, kids. Mm -hmm. 